Kim Kyungjian Dojeon. All right. Well, it's time for game number four now, and that didn't go. There we are. Over on the uh -huh. nine o'clock position of the map, we have our blue Protoss player hailing from Team OGS. That is Inca. And his opponent in the six o'clock position is our red Zerg player and winner of the last two games in a row. It's Enesosa Seal. Yep. And Seal's been playing, playing impressively, man. I mean, I, I've enjoyed watching him. He has a cool little icon mm -hmm. around his nexus. What is that icon, actually? I don't recognize that one. I don't know. It's... Uh, now, admittedly, I didn't really get a lot of the single-player achievements. I just kind of Neither blasted my way through single-player to get it over with. Because, I mean, all right, so I like the single-player. I think the story is cool and all that, but it's just not my style. I just like to play multiplayer only. So. Yeah, I don't fault you for that. But, you know, I, I couldn't very well talk to people and then be like, yeah, I haven't even done the single player yet. That wouldn't work, you know? I haven't even done the single player yet. You haven't done the single player? See, yeah. I don't want to be you. I've, That's I've, played, what... I've played like five missions. Wow, you really just need to go through it. Even if you just put yeah. it on like normal or something and just blast through it. Well, okay, here's a, here's kind of a funny thing. I played like the right. first three missions and I played nothing but multiplayer for a year. Okay. Then I came back and I was like, I should play this. And I played another two missions. I forgot what difficulty I was on. Probably not very high whenever I started the game. And so I'm like macroing like a boss in the games and things like that. I'm like, all right, yeah, got a, got a bunch of Marines. I've even got some medics in here because you can do that in the campaign. Uh, even some fire bats. Oh, macro, and macro, and macro. And I move out and there's like 10 Zerglings opposing me. And I'm like, wow, yeah. this was... It was a little bit of a waste of time. Well, but. in the later <laughs> levels, they do a good job of making you kind of move around and do things. You can't just sit there and, and build sure. up in, in a lot of those levels. But, yeah, I didn't actually play through the single player until I was in Korea at the GOM house. And, like, pro players there were like, you haven't played the single player yet? And I, so after a while, I was like, well, you know what? If, like, pro gamers are actually, like, surprised that I haven't played single player and they all have, I probably should just play it. So I played it and I enjoyed it. It was fun. Yeah. Oh, I no, just I... went through it really fast and hard just... Normal's like way too easy, so you have to yeah. do it at least on hard if you're going to do it. But, you know, it was it was fun. I enjoyed it. Have no problems with it at all. Just haven't gone through it. But I did get the StarCraft Master achievements. I beat all 30 levels of StarCraft Master. And that was that was actually some of the most fun I've had with just, uh, really? you know, a, a little fun, challenging, cool, uh, um, yeah, training atmosphere, I guess. It was neat, though. It was really well done. I, I applaud their effort for that. Now those I have trouble doing. I can't I can't like focus on those for a long time. I when uh, I'm playing those I'm like, oh man, I could be playing against a real person. It'd be so much more fun. So it it seems cool but I have a hard time like sticking with those. <laughs> See that's why I'm with single player because it's not competitive for me. Uh, so ah, 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 ah. Alright world well, problems. For a <laughs> <laughs> That's true. His very first world problems. Forge fast expand for Inca. Yes, his Nexus up now and going ahead and filling in this wall with a gateway and a pylon. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look around now as there is a second base coming up for Seal. He has done everything as standard as can be. So yep. I put a pool before hatch, of course. Seal. Kiss like a rose on the gray. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't even. I, 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 like, I, I just I, have seal going through my head now, so I don't know I how like, you want me to like. There's a way I could get out of this. We've once so. again gone through we'll all the hits, though. Death. We started with Sting. We went to <laughs> Seal. True. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's a lot of pop stars on Ennis Hosa. <laughs> you know? I hope they do that intentionally. I'm just waiting for Ennis Hosa, Michael Jackson, Sage. There's got to be some musical artist named Sage out there. Sure, there is. Right. But, uh, if you if you know of one, link me link me a song by the musical artist Sage. If, if there is one, tweet at Gosudo on Twitter. Let me know. Now, once we get into players like Tassadar and Jockchi, I think we're a little out of it. Jockchi, but Jockchi, the, the the artist formerly known as Jockchi. Yeah, not aware um, of one. Oh shoot! I wish I remembered what Jockchi meant. And I feel like oh wow, I don't know. And it's a pretty early double guess right away for Seal. We'll see. He was initially clearing up this third, but it doesn't look like he's going to go for that quite yet. We'll see what he ends up moving into. Stargate uh, coming up for Inca. Well, it's, it's actually not too early double gas. It is like 40-something supply now. So mm -hmm. this is actually uh, quite late gas for Seal to get. Did he have a, was this two gas at once, or did he already have one and he added on a second? Two at once. Okay, okay. So, yeah, in, in that case, it's actually pretty late gas there's for There's three, him, and there's four. a lot at once to build up really quickly. He just wanted to get a nice big drone advantage, saturate those bases really, really well. Yeah, but that's four gas at once now with layer tech already on the way. No yep. supporting buildings of, uh, so no Roach Warren, no um, 
Evolution Chamber, that's what I was looking for. Nothing like that down at the Mutalisks, moment. Mutalisks, 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 they're quite popular. It's hard to say it three times fast. That's true. Mutalisks, and, Mutalisks, uh, Mutalisks. But he's got to gotta make it fast because there's Void Rays on the, on the way. He might need an Evolution Chamber here too. Okay, he did just start one. All right, so he yeah. will be able to put down some spores. Looks like he's got a decent amount of Queens out on the map too, so he'll be safe enough until his Spire Tech gets up. I would imagine that's probably the, direct, the direction that we're going to see him go. And plus one coming up in addition to this Void Ray, and that's a Robo! Okay, I wondered if he was going to go after that four gate, Stargate sort of build and try and hit no. a good number of uh, units all at the same time, but no, it's a Robo. Yep. I think normally with that, I mean, I'm, not, I'm no expert on Protoss build, but I think normally with that you start the plus one a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, one of these days I'm going to start playing Protoss a lot more. Poor Overlord, he was on attack move. What did he think he was going to do? That Overlord was an illusion. Know. Oh, no, never mind. The Void Ray was on attack move. My bad. Oh. I thought the line was coming out of the Overlord, and I was like, oh. well, that's, that's kind of humorous. <laughs> that would have been awesome, though. <laughs> yeah, Spire Go. on the way right now for Seal. So, uh, was even... he actually building that Spire in his mineral line, too, or is that another Spore Crawler? Um, let's uh, see here. I is... believe... Yeah, it is. Oh, being a little bit tricky here. That's huh. the thing about the Spire is that it does look like a Spine or a Spore Crawler when it's building. It's yes, a very it does. unique building in that regard. So, yeah, if Inca flies over this with a Phoenix or something, he may not pick up on that. Well, Inca does have that first Phoenix coming out now. Void Ray already chasing down a couple of units on the map, uh, just clearing up the Zelnaga Towers, taking map control while he does expand to his third. Then already a Robotics Bay on the way. This is... A very, uh, yeah. very greedy way to go about this, but if he pulls it off, he is going to have an incredible infrastructure very early on. Well, the other thing, too, is that he can be kind of hoping that he can force Seal into something like Hydralisks. He doesn't know that Seal is going for Spire quite yet here. Even if, Remember, even if he flies over this base, he may not know. Well, oh, now he will, he will now. It's actually a Spire. And, yeah, so it is kinda, now he will know. <laughs> I'm sure he's probably looking at that like, well, yeah. that's... That's entertaining. Yeah, he's going to start Chrono boosting out some more Phoenixes to try to combat these uh, Mutalisks. And will we see Phoenix range researched? I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. But <laughs> no, I was like, do I. oh, is it a... No, but it's not a Fleet Beacon. Oh, my Twilight God. Council. When Genius Which researched rockers. it for half a second <laughs> in the GSL Finals, I was so happy. I was like, yes, yeah. it's actually... Ooh. No, he's just going carriers. Chasing away that Void Ray, and it does take a little bit of damage. A little bit, Look but... Oh, nice. Oh. I love it. Adding on the Corruptors as well. Yeah. Smart move. Don't need too many Corruptors to zone out those Phoenixes either. Look at that. Yeah, Corruptors are torched. There's a couple of Photon Cannons coming up everywhere. Inca only now adding on his second and third gateways. Oh, I'm sorry, fourth and fifth gateways. He did have two more coming up. Yeah. He didn't have a lot of gateway units on the ground because he was investing into so much of his infrastructure. Yeah, going up to a total of six here, so he'll be able to get plenty of Stalkers out. And it looks like Seal thinking about breaking the wall. Mm -hmm. Can he do it, though? Not quite yet. <laughs> well, eventually, he does like it. Eventually, Inka's going to want to do that himself, but not Eventually, Inka's going to make DTs, too, I would imagine. What? Oh, Inka and DTs? You went there? He, no. He, he might. Yeah. He might, but... I think someone in the live report thread says Inka's, quote, DTs. They never see them coming. Yes, it's true. <laughs> oh, man. Inka versus Zerg players. Unless it's PvP, then they do see the Shimmer. They force field him on the bottom of the ramp. It's awesome. That's true. Yep. You Inca. know, this is another map that uh, a lot of... Protoss players prefer for uh, PvP, actually, too. So interesting to see it picked for PvZ. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, this used to be a map that um, I had a lot of Protoss players complain to me about for PvZ. Um, some of the uh, players in the Gom House of Protoss once were really struggling against Zerg on this map after Mutalisk started to become popular in this matchup. Uh -huh. so, yeah. I hear something morphing. It was just an overseer for now, but uh, he's just going to try and move after the photon cannons. Won't be able to get it done, uh, though. Yeah. Corruptors, of course, have pretty high HP, and they are armored, so they're able to tank quite a bit of damage. So did a nice job of deflecting the fire away from the mutalisks there. Yeah, he uh, poked right there right before plus one finished as well for the air units. So I think maybe a little bit of mistiming there. The cannons would have fallen significantly faster. Going for 1-1 one, one on his ground as well in the infestation pit. So... Uh, we might see a transition here into, like, uh, Ling, Baneling, and Fester as well, just to try to trap those Stalkers and surround them with Lings. Hit them with Banelings when they're in place. If you can get them all clumped up like they usually are, you can kind of hit them effectively. Oh, if he gets that Forge, that'll be nice, too. Yeah, the Forge is pretty resilient, though. It's going to hold up long enough to give Inca time to get some units in position. Yeah. And he's shifting some things over to the bottom as well. Uh, Storm is being researched, so the Templar Archives is done. But, of course, it's not done yet. That's a lot of units. Go, oh, Storm right there. 
And that would have been a lot of dead circlings and mutas. Yeah, no kidding. But he does blow a hole in the wall. Yes. So he might decide to utilize that later on. And uh, right now, just the big benefit from this is that he can keep Inca on three bases. And we might see him start to try to take advantage of that soon. He does have the ability to start kind of expanding at will. And I think I see a probe on the right side of the map there. That's actually a void ray patrolling back and uh, forth. No, below so. that. Oh, what? Uh, yep, oh, a drone. Probe. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I meant drone. But yep. I said probe as usual. All right. Well, the uh, Mutalists are out now. Storm is not quite finished. These Templar aren't going to be as useful as they could be. Yeah. There's enough Blink Soccer to shift units away, but that allows oh, the go. Zerglings to move in through the front. Oh, that's big. Storm's not finished yet. In no. fact, it is just finishing right about so close. now. Is he going to use it, though? Oh, he would here in just a second. Four Photon Cannons up. Is it enough to delay for the Templar? The Templar are there, but the Zerglings are all going to go down anyway, surprisingly wow. for as many. Uh, Zerklings has oh. went through there. Oh, God, that was a pretty good storm. Yeah, um, although if you Not look, as much damage done as I would have thought. Well, Seal did a good job of only sending in a little group of mutas there. He kind of baited a storm in that case, too. And Seal's just been controlling his mutas fantastically, by the way. Um, yeah. If you were watching earlier, he was picking off sentries and things like that. So really being selective about what he goes in and kills in the best way. Yeah, I mean, even that whole engagement, he snuck a lot of Zerglings through, but didn't get the, as much done as I had anticipated. But, yep. you know, Inca's now cleaning up some Kree tumors, which, let's say, the Kree shred from Seal has been very, very good once again. Fix off the Changelings as oh. well. They're not fooling him. Yeah, it looks like almost like a sickly Gumby in the middle of those. <laughs> Why <laughs> Gumby is dressing up in zealot armor and spying for the Zerg. It's a wonderful imagine. image, though, i got to say. Thank you. No problem. All right. Only one spine crawler out. Normally you bought a few more. Yep. Yes. And that is a big army. Oh, man, that's a lot of banelings. Does he have any infested up quite yet? I do not believe so. No, no, he does not. Okay, yeah, just skipping those in favor of getting that hive. All right, so. Uh -oh. oh, looks like he's going to be able to catch some of the Templar as well. Yeah. Oh, the oh. Templar are having to storm themselves. They do storm themselves, but that's actually a huge amount of dead Zerglings there. We'll see if it's enough, yeah. though. Fourth base is up now for Seal, but of course he uh, does not have any spine crawlers around there as well. And you said it. Usually when you have those uh, mutas out and about, you want more than one spine crawler. Yeah, generally you do see that a little bit more often, but uh, not in this case. Not this time. Looks like a greater spire coming up. Mm -hmm. So we are going to see Broodlords a little bit later here, no which do uh, quite well against the Protoss army in certain circumstances. We'll see if Inca can defend here as some um, mutalists are going to poke their way through. Is there a Templar? No, there's not. All right. Well, Photon Cannon is going to fall. Inca trying to take and hold onto a fourth, but he's really going to need to send some units back. Yeah, it looks like he's actually sending basically everything. Yes, he is. Oh, those Templars are getting a little bit separated, though. Yeah, it looks like they want to make sure oh, that okay, they can deflect go. the Zergling attack up at yeah. the front, but that means that these uh, mutas can do a lot more damage. Yes, they certainly could. A little bit of a blink in, and that will chase Seal away. Mm -hmm. Overseer's like, I wish I was faster. <laughs> and so Zerg again with the supply lead now. Inca, the question is, how long is Inca going to be able to keep that fourth base up? I don't That's know. That's kind of the big turning point in this one. Looks like he may... Oh, Seal, I wonder if he knows about it. Did he see it yet? Let's he has to have seen it by now. Yeah, okay, he knows this. Oh, he okay. has control of the cell like oh, a tower, oh, so... Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, he knows about it, yep. All right. Of course. That yeah. is a huge amount of Blink Stalkers, though. They're going to start pushing their way out. We had a few more uh, Spike Crawlers that weren't going to come up, but oh, this may just be a dead base or seal. We'll see if he wants to engage this. Moving through he now, does. a lot of Zerglings and Banelings. Mulus overhead. Storms taking out a few of the Banelings. Actually, almost all the Banelings wow. before they're able to hit. That was great control. Oh, wow. More great Storms fun. hitting the rest of the Mutalisks. Beautiful job by Inca there. Yeah, I think Inca's got this one locked down. I mean, Seal used basically all his resources there in that attack. He has yeah. a lot banked up, but it's going to take a long time to rebuild that. Yeah. The Banelings just not connecting. GG. GG. And we are all tied up once again. OGS Inca taking the game, tying it up 2-2.